Euh, on ne peut pas parler effectivement de maladies négligées et de maladies tropicales euh, sans évoquer immédiatement le nom de Marcel Tanner. Le professeur Tanner est directeur de l'Institut de médecine tropicale et de santé publique à Bâle et je crois qu'il a été le président, il est le président en fait de notre conseil d'administration. Euh, nous avons euh, tout le temps pu euh, constater son enthousiasme aussi et je vais dire, plus attendre, je lui laisse le pupitre. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour à tout le monde. C'est vraiment un grand plaisir de vous voir tous, tous dans cette salle. And it's very nice to have you all here around. It's wonderful. It's a real enormous privilege and honor for me that I can speak on behalf of the board, my board colleagues, and on behalf of uh, the DNDI community uh, a, a little bit at the beginning of our other birthday parties. We had many birthday parties before. We have now one year of birthday parties, but this is not just a series of celebrations, but it's also a process as it has been a process to, uh, to come back after 10 years to the place basically where uh, DNDI was born. It's wonderful. And uh, we had already a birthday party which was very important in June because there we were actually in uh, in Nairobi, and there we were actually at the place where DNDI was born before it was born here in in uh, in uh, in, um, in Paris. And I think this is something which we should uh, really remember, because that's a sign of enthusiasm of people to join into this uh, DNDI community. But let me start at the beginning. I would like to thank very much uh, Professor Presho. Uh, for this opportunity that we can come back to ask the pastor. And of course, uh, this is wonderful to be here in this prestigious building, organization, with the deep roots, hundred more years, eight Nobel Prizes that were actually uh, came together here. But it's, it's really a wonderful moment where actually you bring science together, but also science towards the application uh, for mankind. So thank you very much that we can be here. We also have to thank, and I think this is why we would not even be here. This is actually Médecins Sans Frontières. We would not be, as I said in Nairobi, and this is actually, we cannot say enough, we would not be what we are today without having had actually uh, Médecins Sans Frontières uh, being here, not just to be part of creation, to use their Nobel Prize to initiate something noble, this is really, it's, it's much more. It is really this constant commitment for what we are here for, for the best science, for the most neglected. DNDI is not MSF, we are, but we are another movement, but we are actually together and we have the same roots and we are actually going for the same, the same aims. Now, I think if I would go on with thanking all the organizations, the funders and so on, this would take a long time and you would not like to hear this only. But there's one important thing. I think I thank mainly you that are here because you are part of what we do in DNDI. You are part why we are here because you all at different levels have contributed, be it from funders, be it from scientists, from people who are actually doing the advocacy work and, and, and. This is wonderful that we can be together. And at that time, we have to think very much also of all our friends and colleagues, collaborators who are in the different regions. They are not all here. Otherwise, we would, I don't know where we would have to go, start the France or something like that. But it's all those people that are at the moment in all parts of the world. And particularly also, I would like to thank the commitment of the founding members of the disease endemic areas. This is actually something which is not just very good for the picture and the profile, but this is very good for actually really trying to move ahead, trying really to pursue the aim we have, the foundations in the places where the problems really are. And I think this is something which we cannot thank enough. 
There are few founder members are mentioned, but we know that we have in many other countries which are not founder members, we have also these roots. And that is how a tree can grow. So thank you very, very much for all of you that uh, shared this commitment. And now you see Jubilee. Jubilee, what for? Why, of course it's nice to have a party. And uh, we will have also more parties, not just speeches. But the other thing is also that we are here, you have all received this small brochure where we have tried to distill out what it, what DNDI is, what the experience we have made, how we have tried to work. It's the so-called DNDI model, and you can say it's maybe not only DNDI model, but it's a model of how we really can really address issues of the most neglected people. It's not just to do a little bit of advocacy. It's not just to do a little bit of lab work. It is not just to do a little bit of trying to uh, facilitate clinical trials. It's this continuum from innovation to application for those most in need. And I think this is something which you will find. It's not a question now of how many new treatments there are. It's there are successes. And there will be more steps that we will make together that are very, very important. But it's the way how actually we bring together scientists and politicians, how we bring together actually people at all the different levels to make an impact for those who need it most. And for that, I also would like all of you here to thank you very much. It's the organizations, but also the individuals that contribute to that. But at the same time, and that is true, you see, the, when this DNDI started 10 years ago, there was a very clear north-south divide with very clear patterns on the differentials, and the model was very, very clearly built to overcome this, to really show not only partnership, but real commitment for the most urgent needs in, in our field. This has changed. The world has changed. And some people sloppily say it's globalization and it's everybody belongs to everyone and, and there's the big platforms, people only don't communicate anymore by looking at each other, they only look at screens and they all handle everything through screens. And I think this is something which has changed a lot and this will also ask us questions. How can we, how can we pursue our, our work? The model is nice, it has had some success. But we are also here, as you will hear afterwards, when we listen, for instance, to the chief scientific officers of what they, they bring about uh, their experience on how to contribute in, 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 uh, uh, to this initiative. I think we have to rethink how in this changing world, in this highly dynamic world, in this highly fragmented world, we can maintain a, very, a comprehensive model of bringing, going from innovation up to application, and how we can keep this important iterative process between the laboratory, the, be the field, the bench, and the bed, and how we are not only just keeping this as a nice model to invent and to develop, but also to serve the population that are most in need. That's why we are here for also. It's not just to have a party, but we must have a serious party. That's absolutely clear. And I think you should have the joy. It is the joy that will carry us in the, into the next 10 years or whatever, 20 or 100 years. But it is this joy that we really have to address these issues. And this is my last point, and some of you know this very well. It is not just concern. It is never concern that solves a problem. And it is, it's not actually all these big uh, discussions on how everything is complex. I always say, you must have true joy. Joy to not only celebrate, as I said, the joy to discover, invent, the joy to translate into action, and the joy to share what you find. And I think these three joys are the important driving force. The concern is the basis, is the context that we operate in this world. But joy is very important. So I would like to say that I am enormously thankful to all of you that you still have this joy, this drive, 
and you really want to pursue. And I think this is something which I would like to say for this uh, um, birthday party. Let's keep this joy. Let's keep this process of this, what I always say as well, this m process of mutual learning for change. Change for those most in need. Change for those actually we are here for. So thank you very much and happy birthday to everybody. Merci Marcel, merci de nous avoir fait partager ce qui fait l'esprit de DND, nous avoir engagé effectivement à la joie pour commencer.